Hey everybody, it's Christopher Small, the unconventional attorney. And today I wanted to talk to you about three lessons learned from 30 days, no social media. Before I get to that though, I want to remind you, if you are not subscribed to the world's greatest law firm owner newsletter of all time, you can do so by going to unconventionalnewsletter.com. All right, every Sunday I send you some goodness, unconventionalnewsletter.com. All right, so before I get to the lessons, let me clarify about my non-social media use. So um, what I'm talking about when I'm talking about no social media for 30 days, it was really sort of like the um, doing the stories, like putting up things and talking about them. I basically did none of that. Um, and most of that for me happens on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you probably wouldn't even have noticed anyway. Um, I was still do creating content like this um, and it was still getting pushed out only because it's just formulaic. I'm just creating content. People are sending it out. It's not like um, not a lot of interaction with that kind of stuff. So I didn't count that. What I counted was like, you know, me posting like memes and like quotes and like things like that. Things that I was doing a lot. Uh, basically stopped in the month of July. And um, I wanted to see what would happen. I did it for a couple of reasons. Reason number one was I wanted to see if I could stop. Okay. Same reason sometimes I just like stop drinking. You know, I'm not an alcoholic, but you never know. So I'm like, hey, let's not have a drink for a bit and let's see what happens. And um, as with the booze, actually stopping social media wasn't that hard. Um, you know, I still consumed it. It wasn't like I turned it off, but uh, I just didn't post for, for quite a bit. And uh, I learned some things in that time. Today is August 1st, so we're back. If you want to see what I'm talking about when it comes to my social media stuff, on Instagram, I am at the Christopher Small. So you can go there if you want or not, doesn't matter. Uh, and you'll hear why in my lessons learned. Okay, so uh, basically, let's just get into that. So there, there were sort of three lessons that I picked out of this, really two, but there's a bonus lesson I'm gonna give you um, when it comes to social media. I know people think you gotta get engagement, you, gotta, you need followers, you need to be posting all the time, you need to be doing all this stuff. And for me, step one, um, or lesson number one was for me, it didn't really make that much of a difference. Uh, for me, creating content like this is what, what matters. Okay, the less I create content like this, the less um, movement I get, the less sort of a, a new business I get. And however, I'll tell you, I've been doing it long enough with my law firm that I really slowed that down too, probably over the last month or so, and the results have still been the same. So I've got Facebook, um, doing some Facebook advertising off of that content strategy, which I'm gonna talk to you about probably in the next couple weeks. Um, but that just keeps people coming in. Boom, 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 boom. So that's really dialed in, which is nice. Um, but it didn't really matter for business. Business um, for the sanctuary, which is where you guys all should be if you're not. Uh, LawyerSanctuary.com, by the way, a little plug. Um, it's still cranking away just fine. People are getting in there and, and uh, we're crushing it in there. Um, the, my firm is doing great as well. So that's lesson number one is that it didn't really make a big difference when it comes to um, you know business, okay, the, the social media posting. Uh, lesson number two is that it helps me more than it helps you, okay? Um, and what I mean by that is a lot of the stuff that I post is like every day I, I typically will do a quote and I'll talk about it. You know, um, when things pop up on my feed that are meaningful to me, I will share them and I'll, I'll put like a little thought behind it. A lot of that stuff really um, is to push myself, to remind myself these things that, that I'm talking about, these things that I'm sharing. Um, and I did notice a little bit of a drop in my productivity over the last month. And I, it's not all attributable to that necessarily, but I know that when I'm, I'm thinking about these things and writing things, these things and, and sort of like participating mentally with these thoughts that I tend to operate better, okay? And so that's, that's also where it comes from, which leads me to the third lesson, which is no matter what you do when it comes to social media, just be yourself, okay? Share the things that you like to share. You know, say the things that are important to you. Do the things that are meaningful to you. Talk about the things that you, you like, okay? Don't try to do something or share something or, or take a stance or try to like, or try to like um, um, become this voice of this thing just because you think people will like it, okay? They won't, they'll see right through it, it'll land terribly. Um, what you need to do is just find people that enjoy you. And, and the way that you do that is by talking about the things that are interesting to you, um, sharing the things that are interesting to you, and also commenting though and participating in other people's things 
that are interesting to you as well okay so just know that you know when it comes to social media when it comes to everything when it comes to everything related to your business the more authentic you can be the better you will be because uh, people at the end of the day they don't know if you're a good attorney or not they, they for the most part don't care what they want to know is can I trust you to do what you're promising to do for me okay if you can create that trust if you can create that bond people will hire you and they will love you okay and the way you create that bond is just by being yourself let them see who you are um, let them trust you let them know you and the rest is easy all right so to recap the three lessons lesson number one I wrote these down so I keep looking down um, it doesn't make a big difference in the bottom line okay the type of social media posting that I'm talking about it doesn't make a big difference in the bottom line number two uh, it helps me more than it helps you and then number three is if it's not authentic it won't work all right hopefully that makes sense I, I want you guys to hopefully you guys are participating in social media I know tons of you have private profiles you don't share anything you're afraid of people judging you you're afraid of people making fun of you I don't know what you're afraid of all kinds of different things um, but you know you're missing out you're missing out um, on, on potential new friends uh, potential new business partners potential new clients uh, potential new experiences okay uh, by not putting yourself out there and sharing the things that you're into so I would encourage you to do that okay it's simple and that's it all right um, as always if you like this video please hit the like button if you know someone needs to hear this please share with them if you have a question or comment please leave it and um, if you are not subscribed to the world's greatest law firm owner newsletter of all time unconventional newsletter dot com all right that is it I'm Christopher small I am the unconventional attorney thank you for your time thank you for your attention I appreciate you and I'll talk to you again soon see ya